If you're attempting to log into PlayStation Network on your PS3 or Vita, you may end up with a QR code on the screen. I'm going to show you what you're supposed to do with it, and I'll also show you four things to try if you can't get past it. You initially got the QR code because you tried to log in with your PlayStation Network password. What the QR code is trying to do is get you to create a separate password just for that one device, which will be called a device setup password. Why are they making you do that? Probably because of some security issue with the PS3 or Vita. Do not worry if the colors of your screen look different from mine, these instructions will still work. So when you have the QR code on your screen, you need to open up a camera app on your phone and point it at the code. A link will appear within the phone's app. Tap that link to open it. If you have never scanned a QR code before and you're not really understanding what I'm saying, I made a separate video on the basics of scanning a QR code and the link to it will be in the description. After tapping the link that appears on your camera app, it'll take you to the PlayStation website. It may ask you to sign in first. If it does, go ahead and go through that process, using the same login information you attempted to use on the game system. Also, some people will get this button that says Generate New Password. If so, go ahead and select it while others will get a password automatically generated for them. Either way, the screen you want to end up on is this one. Back on the PS3 or Vita screen, hit circle on your controller to go back to the password screen. Then wipe out the contents of your password field and put the new password in its place, the one that's showing on your phone. Keep the email above it the same. Also click the box that says save password. If you don't, you'll have to do this process again. Click continue, or if you don't have a continue button, click the sign in button. From that point, you should be able to go about as normal on your game system. If you ended up with another QR code, hit circle again and make sure you have entered the password correctly. It's very easy to mess up because the password is so long. If that wasn't it and you keep getting the QR code again and again, try one of the four solutions I'm about to show you. I recommend you try each of these one by one. Don't attempt to do all four of them at once. That's going to get confusing. If one of the solutions does help you, let me know which one. I like to keep track of these things. I believe that Sony's network systems are sometimes slow. When it creates that new password on your phone, it may still be processing that password in the background. After you scan the QR code and hit circle to go back a screen, wait a little bit before clearing out that old password and adding the new one. I recommend you wait five minutes, but feel free to experiment with longer intervals. If solution one didn't work, try this. After you tap the link on your camera app, it may automatically be signing you into the wrong account. And as a result, it's applying that new password to the wrong account. I've caught it doing this to me one time. To keep this from happening before doing the QR process, do a web search on the term PlayStation Network on that phone and go into the site and log into the same account you're attempting to log into on your game system. Then keep that website open and proceed with the QR process. In other words, when you have your camera app running, also have that website running in the background. When you tap that link in the camera app, being pre-signed in should ensure that it takes you to the correct account and applies the password to it. Of course, if you don't have multiple accounts, this probably won't be useful to you, but go ahead and try it anyway and see what happens. And I also recommend you wait five minutes once again before putting the new password into the password field. This time, avoid scanning the QR code and just hit circle to go back a screen. Then, from a computer or your phone, do a web search on the term PlayStation Network again and go into the site and log into the same account again, just like you did in Solution 2. It's possible it may already be logged in for you. It may also text you a code to complete the login process. It's just an extra security precaution if it thinks you're messing around too much. If you do get that, go ahead and complete that process. Once you're signed in, click the little avatar at the top right 
and select account settings then security select continue if you get this pop-up scroll down to device setup password and select the arrow that's out to the right of generate our managed device setup passwords it may ask you to sign in again as a precaution then click the blue button for generate new password wait five minutes then put this new password in the password field on your gaming device and see if that worked afterward you can go back to this web page and hit the done button i don't think that actually does anything other than take you back one screen If nothing has worked so far, try this. Go back to the security screen you were on in Solution 3 and take a look at the two-factor authentication screen. It actually says two-step verification, but throughout this segment, I'm probably going to call it two-factor authentication. I'm just used to saying it a certain way. If it says disabled, enable it. If it already says enabled, then there's nothing else for you to try in this video. If you do enable it, go through the process of setting up two-step authentication. I choose text message. What that means is that every time I log into this account, it'll send a text message with a code to my phone and I'll enter that code into a field on my screen. The screen that looks like this. So why am I having you do this? I believe there's some kind of bug where for some people, if they don't have the two-step authentication on, it won't allow that device password setup to work. Once you have the two-step authentication set up, it'll say active in that section of the security screen. Wait five minutes and then go ahead and do the QR code process as normal on your device and see if that worked. I hope you found this video useful. Take care, everybody.